So I'm just going to implement one quick bug fix and one simple feature and then call it a day. So when you load the gallery, you actually get two copies of all of the images, not just one. And uh, to figure out why that is, I'm going to hit F12, go to the debugger, and open the JavaScript for the gallery view. And I'm going to put a breakpoint right in fetch gallery where it's doing this Ajax call and then hit reload. So fetch gallery is getting called the first time from our call to fetch gallery here at the bottom of show gallery view or show gallery rather. And then if we continue, it's also getting changed um, in response to a user change event that's generated from uh, from the nav bar. So the first time the nav bar gets loaded, it has to fetch the current user in order to update the gallery. That causes a user change event, which causes the gallery to be fetched again. Um, and the second fetch gallery, the call to user change, is supposed to clear out the current images and start from scratch. But the old fetch gallery is still pending. And so uh, basically, you're fetching the gallery twice at the same time, and you get double images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change fetch gallery so that um, it doesn't handle multiple requests simultaneously. So basically, if it's in the middle of fetching images, it's not going to start fetching images again while that's still going on. So only one fetch at a time is going gonna, is gonna to happen. And to do that, I'm going to uh, set a local variable, fetching. And that's going to start out being false. And then here in fetch gallery, the first thing I'm going to do is say if fetching return. So this is going to just skip fetching if you're already fetching. If you're not already fetching, the first thing you're going to do is set fetching to be true. Then you're going to execute this Ajax call. And then it's going to call update gallery. And then after update gallery is finished, then and only then will you set fetching equal false. So now let's go ahead and reload. Um, I'm going to go to the Network tab and hit Reload. And I should only get one call to Fetch Gallery, or the Ajax call to the back end to get the gallery list. And so here's my one call to Fetch Gallery. And then it starts getting the images, and I don't get another call. And if I scroll through the list, I see I only have one copy. So that was the bug fix. And then the feature that I want to implement is uh, we have a full size image, but there's no way to actually access it directly from the site. So I'm going to make the page sized image clickable. And when you click it, it's going to open the full sized image in a new tab. And that's in the gallery view, or I'm sorry, in the image view content. So here's where it creates the HTML for the page sized image. It actually sets the source here to be this URL. And what I'm going to do instead of just setting the attribute here is I'm going to go ahead and replace the image with a new image that is hot linkable. So hash sign image view image is just going to be a div box now. Go to the HTML and do that. So here's the image view image. I'm just going to make it a div. And then here, I'm going to set image view image .html to be anchor href equal original image. Actually, I think it's a rig image. Let me right click, 
open image in new tab, try a rig. Right, so there's the original image. So a rig image slash plus image set dot image set ID key. So there's the anchor. And then close off that href, close off the anchor. And then the image itself is image source equal page image slash, and then this part. Um, actually, I'm missing a closing quote here. Closing single quote, and then the ID, and then a close quote, close image, and then close the anchor. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to also add target equal blank so that it opens in a new tab. So reload. Actually go back here and reload. And click on the link. So now I have a little border around the image, and I have the thumb, the, the, the pointer cursor. And if I click on that, here's my full-sized image.